Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and today we're doing some walk around uh, videos during this very cold January lockdown on a, uh, some of our new and used motorhomes and this particular one is a micro coach built so that means it's a little coach built monocoque it's a one piece body from Island Plastics Roma Home on the Isle of Wight uh, on a 12 plate and this one is a Roma Home R20 so Roma Home, built as I said by Island Plastics uh, on the Isle of Wight for many many years, they've been around forever and they are arguably the king of the micro coach built. Uh, this is one of the high-low ones so that means it's got a, a raising roof at the back there and that means it will go underneath height barriers and uh, it will fit in your garage as well if you have a garage so these make a fantastic day-to-day -day vehicle. They're based on the Citroen Berlingo, now this is one of the first of the new shape Citroen Berlingos which is important, they drive much better, look better and they're much more modern than the previous shape Berlingo that they replaced and um, quite a rare van in fairness to it uh, they don't build many of them anymore now so these these new shape Berlingo based Roma homes are quite desirable we sell a lot of these down in Devon so you can use them day to day and you can literally go anywhere a car can so let's have a little look so she's a 12 plate Roma home R20 it's got a pop top uh, this one's got four seat belts. That wasn't standard, so that, uh, that again, that option makes it very, very good for uh, use as a day-to-day -day transportation. It's a two berth, uh, two and a quarter ton maximum weight, so you can drive it on a car license. 1.6 turbo diesel, Citroen Berlingo manual. Um, the fuel economy on these is ridiculous. I mean, I'd be surprised if you don't get 40 mile per gallon out of it, and some people who own them claim a lot more than that. It's done 43 and a half thousand miles, so it's low mileage for a van that does tend to get used daily. 4.95 meters long, so it's about the same size as a short wheelbase lengthwise VW Transporter. Only 1.85 wide, so it's very, very narrow, and uh, 2.44 high, so you'll easily fit underneath any of the height barriers and things out there and in your garage. And it's priced at 26,495, which we like to think is competitive for one of these. And it's a very nice van in fairness to it. It's in excellent condition. There's no faults or damage on it. It's been very well looked after by its previous lady owner and uh, she's all around a good egg and we like these down here. So we'll have a little walk around the outside of the van first. It has just come in, it's not been cleaned yet so you might see some sort of road muck on it but she's all in, uh, in good order. So you've got onboard fresh water tank which you fill up through there and then you've got main hook up and a leisure battery, main hook up is there. Now monocoque means it's built out of one piece so unlike some of the other um, micro coach belts out there and these won't suffer from damp as it's a one piece body shell very very expensive to do which means they weren't cheap vans but very very tough very good quality uh, you've got double glazed windows and it'll be a nice cozy bit of kit this in fairness to it uh, diesel goes in there and then you've got a gas locker for a proper color gas bottle uh, in that one there rear door entry on uh, almost all roma homes and you can just see your pop top there, it's got a few windows and things like that which you can uh, can zip open in there. You've got corner steadies at the back for stability purposes and a couple of windows both for light and for through view for when you're driving as well. A little three-way fridge freezer, that's the vent for it there. Exhaust pipe and uh, a second lounge double glazed window. We'll have a look inside the cab. The cab upholstery and everything all in really good order one thing this one does have it's got so you can see their cab air conditioning wasn't standard on this model quite a desirable thing in fairness to it so that's good news as well as electric windows central locking uh, steering wheel controls for your stereo system and uh, electric mirrors so you've got all the stuff so you could use it day to day as a car which uh, would make a brilliant only or second vehicle in fairness to them so we'll walk back around again and go on the inside so as i say there's no damage on this van i've had a good look at it and i couldn't spot anything only fault on it is missing a wheel trim and that will be replaced before it goes out so we go in through the back door and then we'll go straight into the little um, carpets are down they are mucky but they will clean up absolutely fine straight into the rear kitchen so you've got a two burner gas hob with a glass top that will come down for using this area for prepping. Underneath you've got a grill and then underneath of that you've got your, your little three-way fridge freezer which will work off mains electric if you're hooked up, gas if you're not and off the engine when you're driving, hence three-way ice compartment freezer box in there and then the rest of it is fridge. 
You've got a 12 volt socket up there for use in the kitchen area and you've got a main socket here as well which is handy. Now the other side, you've got a sink with a tap there and a nice wooden chopping board over the top of it. And this is where this particular one is quite clever. I'm just gonna, gonna jump in the van. Not easy to film these because they are obviously relatively small. So I'll just get in and we'll have a look at this little party piece here. I've not seen this on a Roma home before, but a customer assures me it is quite a, quite a commonly seen feature. So you've got this big cupboard here and in it is a proper little porta potty. And then the sink, as you can see there, you can remove. So it gives you a proper rear toilet, which sort of makes yourself contained, which in these days of COVIDiness is is quite important, really. So you just remove this section, and then you can sit there and use your use your throne, which is great. If you're not going to do that, you can always leave that at home, and then you've got storage there instead. You got a little control panel up here with a gauge for your uh, lights, uh, well your battery, uh, battery selector, and uh, on-off buttons for your lights and your water pump and such like storage making the best use of every little available bit of space and then you've got a couple of pull down these will fold down to become extra worktop same on the other side as well and when they're folded in the up position you've got as you can see not one but two forward facing seat belted seats and then this side is a dinette with a table and the other side is a fixed sofa which you can again deconstruct to use for legroom for your passengers and it's quite roomy I'm six foot and I'm stood up at the back now and I've got plenty of height and uh, it's a good space bed wise you can put it together and make a double bed or you can extend it slightly into the cab area and make single beds lengthways so uh, it's amazing what they fit in in fairness to it for when the roof is up you've got a bit of storage over the cab up there as well blinds and fly screens on all the windows and the upholstery is in very very good condition so carpets are a little bit grubby partially because i've just walked some mud into them but they will clean up absolutely fine um and she's all in really good order inside and out so this is her she is the roma home r20 2012 uh, at 26495 at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch. Any questions? We are open all through lockdown for internet inquiries and sales and reservations. You can put in an inquiry through the Highbridge Caravans website, highbridgecaravans.co.uk, uh, or you can ring. The phones are diverted to the Somerset Branch, but just ask to speak to the Devon Branch, and uh, one of us will give you a ring back. So uh, thank you very much. Any questions, just let us know. Bye-bye.